So what is canker sores? Canker sores are small yellow lace seams that develop on the soft tissues in your mouth or at the base of your gums. Unlike the cold sores, canker sores don't occur in the surface of your lips and they do not, you know, get contagious. They are not contagious. They can be painful and can make eating and talking very difficult, but most canker sores go away on your own in a week or two. So check with your doctor or dentist if you have unusual large or painful canker sores or canker sores that don't seem to heal. And most canker sores are round, oval, and white or yellow centered or red border. They form inside your mouth or under your tongue, inside your cheek or leaves, at the base of your gum, or in your soft palate. You might notice a tingling or burning sensation a day or two before the sores actually appears. And there are several types of canker sores, including minor, major, and hepatiform sores. Now, in minor canker sores, uh, the common thing that is usually noticed is that they are usually small, oval shaped with red age, and it heals without scarring in one or two weeks, you know. And the major canker sores are less common, and they're a little bit larger and deeper than minor canker sores. These type of sores are usually round with fine borders, but may have an irregular age. When it's very large, it can be extremely painful and it takes up to six weeks to heal and can leave you with scarring body and scarring face. And the third one is the hepatiform canker sores. They are uncommon and usually develop later in life. They are not caused by herpes virus infection. These sores are pinpointed in size. They are irregular in ages. They often occur in clusters of 10 to 100 cells, but may merge in the one large ulcer. It heals without scarring within one to two weeks. If you have any of these cells mentioned, you should consult with your doctor because canker cells that extend into the lips themselves, uh, medical nurse, family, and border. It causes pain that you can't control, even with your self-care measures, and it's extremely difficult while eating or drinking. And oftentimes it goes with high fever, and in such situations you need to see your dentist if you have sharp tooth surfaces or dental appliances that seem to trigger the sores. And there are also all the possible triggers that can trigger your sores. Uh, one, of the, one of them is uh, a minor injury in your mouth from your dental walk or overzealous brushing, spots, mishap, or accidental bag check. Also, toothpaste and mouth rinses containing sodium lyrin sulfate. Food sensitivity can trigger canker sores, particularly chocolate. Coffee, strawberries, eggs, nut, cheese, spicy, and acidic foods. A diet lacking in vitamin B12, zinc folate, folic acid, or iron is also able to cause canker sores. An allergic response to certain bacteria in your mouth, like Helicobacter pylori, can cause cancer. Also, a hormonal shift during menstruation and emotional stress also causes ulcers. It also causes canker sores. So, canker sores may also occur because of certain conditions and diseases such as celiac disease, a serious intestinal disorder caused by sensitivity to gluten, a protein found in most grains, inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative slides. You know, and parasite disease, a rare disorder that causes inflammation through the body, including the mouth, a faulty immune system that attacks healthy cells in your mouth instead of pathogens such as viruses and bacteria. You know, in such cases, you know, such stuff happening, HIV and AIDS, 
which suppresses the immune system. You know, unlike cold sores, canker sores are not associated with herpes virus infections. As you can see, risk factors that is uh, need to be considered, especially when you having canker sores. Anyone can develop canker sores, but they occur more often in teens and young adults, and they are more common in females. Often, people with recurrent canker sores have a familiar history of disorder. This may be due to the hereditary to a shared factors in the environment, such as certain foods or allergies. Is you're making a list of your symptoms, including when the first when they first started and how they may have changed and worsened over the time. And also you're gonna need the uh, all your medications, including over the counter medications, the vitamins and all the supplements and these doses. In any other medical conditions to see if any related are your symptoms, the key personal information, including any recent changes or emotional stressors in your life. And you're gonna need to question your doctor, you know, how often do I need to come back for these medications? Do I have a canker sore? If so, what factors may have contributed to these multiplications, you know? So so you're gonna to need to ask them what about the treatments, approaches, and the recommendations. What am I gonna do about it? So what self-care and steps do I need to take in any symptoms? Is there anything I can do to speed up my healing? How soon do you expect my symptoms you know, to improve? Is there anything I can do to help prevent every occurrence? You know, don't hesitate to ask any question that you feel is going to be useful to you because sometimes these, these guys don't, they, they don't really have the time, you know, they are usually very busy. So what to expect from your doctor or dentist is uh, some questions because they're going to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to know how they're going to guide you in a direction what to do. So you're going to see some questions like, what are your symptoms? When did you first notice these symptoms? How severe is your pain? Have you had similar sores in the past? If so, have you noticed if anything in particular seemed to trigger them? Have you been treated for similar sores in the past? If so, what treatment was most effective? Have you had any recent dental work? Have you recently experienced significant stress or any major life changes? What is your typical daily diet? Have you been diagnosed with any other medical, medical condition? What medication are you taking, including prescriptions and over-the-counter medication? What are the vitamins, the herbs, and all the supplements you've been taking lately? Do you have a family history of canker sores? You know, in some cases, you may have tests to check for other health problems, especially if your canker sores are severe and ongoing. You know, and there are treatments and drugs. For a minor canker sore, treatment usually isn't necessary because it tends to clear on their own in one to two weeks. But large, persistent, unusual painful sores often need medical care. A number of treatments often include mouth rings. So you're going to need mouth rings. If you have several canker sores, your doctor may prescribe a mouth rings containing steroid dexamethasone. You're going to need typical products over the counter and and prescription products like pastes, creams, gel, liquid, and stuff like that may help you relieve pain and speed, speed up your healing, you know, if you apply it in the individual shawls as soon as they appear. There are some products have active ingredients such as benzocaine, and this benzocaine is just a combination of Ambisol, Kank A, R-Base, Zelactin B, Flu cyanide, Lindex Vanax. You might need something like hydrogen peroxide, oragia, antiseptic mouth sorings, peroxide. And there are many other topical products for canker sores, including those without active ingredients. You're gonna need oral steroid medication when severe canker sores don't respond to other treatments. And when 
your canker sore doesn't respond to other treatment. You're going to need medication not intended specifically for canker sore treatments such as intestinal arsenic treatments, superfate, using coating agent, corticine, which is normally used to treat gout. And but because of the serious side effect, they're usually a, a last resort. So, cautery of sores. During cautery of sores, an instrument or chemical substance is used to burn, sear, or destroy tissues. You know, the bacterol is a topical solution designed to treat canker sores and gum problems. By chemically cauterizing canker sores, this medication will reduce healing time to about a week. Other special substance that you might want to, you know, look into is silver nitrate. You know, it's another option for chemical countering of canker sore. You know, it hasn't been shown to speed up healing, but it may help relieve canker sore pain. Now, another method is nutritional supplements. You might be recommended, you know, or prescribed a nutritional supplement. If you consume low amount of important nutrients such as folate or folic acid, B12, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, and zinc. These are related health problems. If you have canker sores related problems to a more serious health problems, your doctor may treat the underlying conditions with a more severe, you know, combat forms. And here are home remedies and lifestyles that you might want to adapt to help you fight canker sores and overcome it. So canker sores often record, but you may be able to reduce their frequency by falling in these streams. You know, watch what you eat. Try to avoid foods that seem to irritate your mouth. You understand that? You know, these may include nuts, chips, pretzels, certain spices, sort of foods, acidic foods such as pineapple, grapefruit, and oranges. You know, avoid foods to which you are sensitive or allergic to. You know, choose healthy foods to help prevent nutritional deficiency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Follow good oral hygiene habit. You know, take a regular brushing after meal and flossing once a day. Flossing once a day. You know, so do a regular brushing after meal and do flossing once a day. It can keep your mouth clean and free of food that might trigger a sore. So. You're going to need you know, a soft brush to help prevent irritation, the delicate mouth tissues, and avoid toothpaste and mouth rinses that contain sodium lyrol sulfate. Did you get that? Avoid any toothpaste or mouth rinses that contain sodium lyrol sulfate. Very important. Protect your mouth. If you have braces or other dental appliances, ask your dentist about orthodontics waxes to cover sharp edges. Reduce your stress. You know, stress is also part of the problem that causes canker sores. If you are a canker sore patient and if your canker sores seem to be related to stress, learn and use stress reduction techniques such as meditation and guided imagery. All right, guys, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when awesome help videos stands up. Let's go to the next one. Bye-bye.